guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Traffic Golf Centre in Manchester and today I'm going to be testing the new Callaway Big Bertha 3 wood. I've been really looking forward to trying this because it really reminds me of an old 3 wood that I used to have, the Callaway Steelhead Plus. You know, it has that navy finish, that, black, that almost kind of dark blue finish. It's much shallower than the, the old Steelhead, let's say, um, but it looks wise, I'm really looking forward to trying this. Interesting, I didn't get on with the driver massively. I wasn't hugely impressed with the distance that I was getting from the Big Bertha Callaway driver. Loved the Big Bertha Alpha, but wasn't massively impressed with this. What they also have done, the, the guys at uh, Callaway, they've taken off the adjustability of the weight at the back, which they do feature in the driver. I'm surprised they've not kept a smaller version of that on the back, because I think that was a really useful tool to help you hit the ball a little bit straighter. What they have kept is the adjustability in the neck, so this is a three wood, which is 15 degrees, but you can actually loft it up by two, basically making it into a, a four wood, 17 degree four wood, and you can loft it down by one degree. So that's gonna help your custom fittings, gonna help you optimize this three wood to the best of your ability. I'm trying it in 15 degrees today. I've got it in the Fubuki, it's easy for me to say, the Fubuki shaft. It's in Stiff Flex 65 gram, and we're gonna be hitting real golf balls on GC2. I'm going to hit four off the tee and then the final one off the deck to see if there's much difference in the distances that you're losing or gaining off the deck. We're going to see about that. So let's get cracking. I, like I say, I love the, the look of the club head behind the ball here. Um, it has that really dark, very subtle Callaway finish with that little arrow on the top. Um, not all singing, all dancing. Just, just nice. Just a nice club to look at. Right, let's get cracking. Let's get hitting a few. Okay, that felt nice. <laughs> okay, that felt nice. 258 yards of carry distance. That felt tremendous. Granted, it's gone a little bit left of target line, two, 24 yards left of target line, but I suppose on a two, nearly 260 yard shot, it's not the end of the world, you know, that shouldn't be too far off line, that. that was really nice, that felt great. That's an awful lot straighter. It'll be interesting to see if it's gone quite as far. 249 yards, not quite as far, but still pretty decent carry distance for a three wood and only four yards off target line. I'm pleased with that. That felt really, really solid. That felt great. So pretty, pretty hefty hitting golf club this. Let's hit two more off the tee. Love it. I love the flight of this club. It feels amazing off the face. And with its good looks behind the ball, this is definitely a winner for me so far. 2 4 1 carry distance, not quite as far as the last one. The reason why I'm hitting it off the tee to get the most kind of consistent strike that I can offer you guys, certainly on the distance front. You know, three wood off the deck is not the easiest golf club to hit in the world. So I want to hit it off the tee to give you the most reliable data. And that was only. Six yards, oh, seven yards off target. Nine yards off target, sorry, 8.7. Oh, it does feel so good. It seems to be spinning so little when it gets up there. Two, five, six carry distance. A, an impressive golf shot. Again, right, I'm gonna go one off the deck this time. Let's see how it performs off the floor. What I do like about it, because it has got that really shallow face, it should perform pretty, pretty nicely off the floor, really. So far, we're doing well on the averages, certainly distance-wise. Felt easy to hit. It's gone a little bit further right than I would have wanted it to. Yeah, two, two, three, six carry distance. It certainly spun up a lot higher, so I've lost about 14 yards of distance there. It has gone 20 yards off line to the right, but it wasn't, it felt easy to hit off the floor. I'm going I'm to hit one more, actually. You know, I don't feel like I've given that full, full justice, to be fair. Let me hit one more. Yeah, that was better. That was better. Two, four, three. I didn't feel like I hit that first one as amazingly as I could do, and I don't think I'm giving that one a fair comparison. So let's have a look at some of the data up on screen now, and we'll, we'll have a look through the shots and look at the, certainly the carry distances 
of the golf shot. So if we pull up on screen first, I'm going to take out that slightly dodgy one off the floor. If you look up on screen, we've got the ball speed on the third is left side. 152, that's a pretty impressive ball speed. Not quite as fast a ball speed as the Taylor Major offering. So if you've not seen my Taylor Made videos, go and watch those out on my channel. I've tried the SLDR three wood and also the Jet Speed three wood. We've got spin rates, incredible spin rates. Just under 3,000 on average spin rates. And that's why this golf ball was traveling so far. Its average carry distance was 249 with the best shot going 258. Now that's a pretty decent hit for a three wood. I'm very pleased with that. Off the deck, granted it took me two attempts to get a nice one. It, that was more my error than anything, but I can definitely tell with the shallow face, it is an easy club, club to hit off the floor. And it's also an easy club to hit out the fairway as well when you're out on the golf course. Direction wise, I only hit one dra dramatically offline. So there's only one 24 yards offline, which again is not too bad, you know, that's pretty forgiving. Um, the rest of them there was only tw under 12 yards offline. But guys, that is my review of the Callaway Big Bertha 3 wood. I definitely got on with this much better than I got on with the driver. I think this is an awesome 3 wood. I really do. Like I said, I don't know whether because it, it just looks like that old steelhead of mine, Steelhead Plus. That's why I love it so much, but it just, it's an unbelievable feel of club. Guys, if you've not subscribed already, click on this link just here. You subscribe to my channel, you get all my videos straight away. You can also like this video, comment in the comments box down below, and you can check out my next video, which is the Callaway X2 Hot 3 Wood. So we're trying that next. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and that was my review of the Callaway Big Bertha 3 Wood.